Hey YouTube, today I have a compilation of uh, my favorite starts I've found over the years. It's not a lot, but at least uh, three minutes. So you'll see some pretty crazy dives. And also I have included a funny clip at the end. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hey, what's up everyone? So this is the end of the video, but before I finish it, I want to give you four quick tips on a better start that not a lot of people know about, but there are some really good starters out there that I've included in this video, like Caleb Dressel, Brad Tandy, Joao De Luca, Martin Eggy, and Fabio Scazzoli. They've used these four quick tips in their starts that could probably help you out if you want to be a better starter. So my first tip for you is to use your arms on the start. Not a lot of people do this, including me. I haven't learned this until I'd say last year. In the middle of the summer, I started using my arms because some coach told me to use my arms on the start and it really helped me, help my reaction time, which is one thing. And secondly, I didn't have to depend all upon my legs. It's basically like a 50-50 thing where the power comes from your legs and your arms as well. Which leads into my second tip. When you use your arms, your chin should be pushed towards the far wall. 
it's kind of hard to know what that's like but imagine uh, looking straight up and you see my chin is pointed towards I guess the place where I'm looking and that should happen with uh, your start when you use your arms with enough force your chin should follow your arms and that in turn should give you I'd say a lot more momentum because you're taking that potential energy so what you can use but don't use because you don't use your arms but if you do what you can use is your arms your legs and as well as that chin that you push forward which will give you more momentum on the start and also with the chin push that leads me into my third tip which is to use the leg flick so I don't think a lot of you know what the leg flick is but I will drop a link down below to the race pace club and Gary Hall teaching people how to do the leg flick and I think the leg flick is really important because you get a better position one for one and then two you could get a sharper entry which is what I've heard from Brad Tandy you need like a really sharp entry instead of like this huge splash and it takes a lot of practice to learn the leg flick but if you could use it it's really powerful it's a really powerful thing that you could include in your start and so my final tip for you is to just get a clean entry so after you have the leg flick the chin press and use your arms my last tip for you is to just have a clean entry like Caleb Dressel said in one of his uh, breakdown videos of his races, he said, it doesn't matter how far you go in your start, but what matters the most is like your entry. So if you don't have a clean entry, you're probably gonna add like a lot of time or whatever, and you don't wanna do that during a race. You want a clean entry with the most powerful start.